All right, everyone, we have an update. We are on the counterclockwise rotating version, or I'm sorry, the clockwise rotating version of the second hub. Like I said, I am going to develop these blades um, together. So we wanted to make sure that, because I did these separately from the blade all the way to the duct work, all the way to the motor installation, all that other good stuff. But what I want to do now is I want to take these two and I want to do it section by section as I did with these, but basically double up on it so I can get both of the last engines done at the same time. And we also may have our test fan here. This is going to give us some, some good testing data, I think. Without that fan cooling it, I want to see how much more brittle this was. It doesn't seem to be as brittle. Uh, and most of the other fan blades have the same sort of flexibility. They're not as, you know... So, I mean, they may have overheated closer to the tips, which might be a problem, but... Like I said, we're going to test with this one. So, we're going to have this one here I'm printing the blades for now. Everything's working on the printer like it's supposed to. You can see how clean everything looks. This is a fairly heavy piece. That's because we want that mass to help with continuing can, uh, the kinetic motion of the blade. So this is like a 55% gyroidal infill with an eight layer wall thickness, which makes all of these interfaces solid where the blades get tapped into place, which is um, definitely beneficial to the design but still allows the entire thing to expand because of the gyroidal infill, if necessary, because we are looking at 9,000 RPMs. These blades have been tested up to 5,000 RPMs. I think they'll handle nine just fine. I may add thin CA to set these permanently just to be on the safe side so I don't get a blade that slings out of here. But at the same time, I don't know if the CA is gonna make the entire system more brittle. So we may do two fans working without CA to with CA and um, see if that reinforcement actually helps or if it hinders. Other than that, construction is going well, still printing blades and the Strike Ultra is on its way and eventually will be airborne. This is the flight test pro platform, not a prototype. I mean, it's a prototype, but it's not a construction prototype. It's a working flying prototype. That's why there's an engine down there or a motor driving it in a cooling system so be prepared for that that's going to be some that's going to be a fun day that's that's going to be one epic flight or disaster either way it's going to be fun